We're here with Pat Hoban, who just got top 16 at the 250, 250th YCS that had over 3,200 3, players. What deck did you play, and uh, how was your experience? Yeah, how's it going? Yeah, I played Cash Tierra. Um, it was cool. It was definitely like a really big event, um, so it was good getting to top. Um, I did really like my deck. It was like super standard, um, and I wanted to play something else, but I, I just decided to like fall back on this because I, I didn't think I had the other thing all the way right yet. Um, so yeah, I just played Cash Tierra, and it was good. Um, I only lost to I lost once in Swiss, so I lost to Flunder. And then in Top Cut, I lost to Rika. Um, I didn't really know what the Rika cards did, so I'm sure I could have done different things. Um, but it is what it is. And then I played like seven Cash Tira, so I played a lot of Mirrors. Um, and I didn't lose any of the Mirrors. Uh, but my deck was pretty standard, I think. Uh, so I played three Fenrir, three Unicorn, Ogre. Uh, Scareclaw and one Rise Heart. Then I played more tra hand traps than I've ever played in my life. I played three Ash, three Valor, two Mourner, and I also played three Emperor. Um, yeah, I was reading Mourner round one. I, I, <laughs> I didn't know what it did all the way. Um, then for the spells, I played three Book of Moon uh, and one Book of Eclipse. I, I think this book's a lot better for sure, but um, I think the book cards are really good in, in the mirror specifically. So um, I just wanted to play more than, than three copies. So I played an Eclipse. And then I played three Planets and a Terraforming. I like the uh, Scareclaw Field spell, um, but I didn't end up playing it. I just played <laughs> more hand traps, I guess. Uh, then I played three Theosis and three Birth. And then I played three Prosperity and one Desires. I would have probably played two of this in retrospect. I don't really think it's like a big deal if you draw them together because. Usually you'll get another turn and then they were just both good. It just took a second and yeah, they were good. They're, they're consistency cards. And I think this this deck gets stopped by like kind of basic things like just Ash on the field spell. And then you set a bunch of like interruptions, like n not that infrequently. Um, so I feel like cards like Desires help. Then um, for the traps, I played Big Bang and Preparation. Um, preparation. I'd probably play it again, but it's it, it's not the best. You can like kind of play around the kaiju by like having the scareclaw in hand with it, and if they kaiju you, you just summon it back. Um, but I think double a rise heart is probably better than that. Um, then for the extra deck, and how many cards in the main? Is forty. Okay. Uh, then I played three rise heart. Um, I don't think this really comes up that much in the mirror, except for in the mirror when uh, they like Diabolus one, and you summon one, and you kind of want the third there. Um, but I, I didn't use the third a bunch either. Um, two Shangri La, then two Zeus, um, Diabolus, Drago Sank. Too big eye. I don't think I'd play Drago Sack again. And maybe I say that just because like I didn't play any Labyrinth, and I guess it was primarily there for like Skill Dream. Um, but yeah, I don't think I ever summon this. Uh, too big eye. Um, yeah, it's really just for Diablo. So I don't think there's like anything else. Like you wouldn't summon two in the course of a game if it weren't for Diablos. And then I played the Dark Armed. Um, I played one of the Fur Hire. And then I, I played these as prosperity targets. Um, the Garua was solid, and I don't think I ever used this. It, it was for Runic primarily, but I didn't play Runic. I mostly just played a lot of mirrors. Um, then for the side neck, 
Um, I guess like on the extra deck, in general, I was going Arise Heart with just like interruptions. Um, I was like kind of defaulting to that. I, I would do the lock five if I had it, but I, I never drew it, so I was mostly making Arise Heart. And like I, I guess combo decks, I guess I was like trying to lock zones there. Um, or if I didn't have like any interruptions in my hand, um, where just like summoning a rise heart wouldn't have been good enough. Um, but in general, I just, you know, didn't want to get nibbed. I didn't get nibbed a single time uh, the whole day. And so I just kind of wanted to eliminate that because it feels like, I guess the thing I don't like about Kestir is that it feels like you're just playing rock, paper, scissors because it doesn't really matter which board you make that much. Um, they all kind of lose to something. Like even Rise Heart Pass is like really bad versus the books. Um, there's ways to play around Kaijus, but the books are really tough um, with that. And like if you go double Rise Heart, it's like better, but at the same time, it's you're gonna lose to Nib if you do that. Um, I would do the Lock Five for sure every time I had it, but I, I think it's like I don't think it's actually very probable because you need like the three best cards in your deck. You have to like go first, so that cuts it in half. Um, and then you have to not be interrupted. So it feels like too many things have to go right, that it doesn't feel that real, um, or where it happens at like a super high frequency. Um, so I, yeah, I was just defaulting to a rise heart pass. Then I played three shifters. It's the first time I've ever played this card. Um, <laughs> it, it was, uh, it's a, it's a better experience when you're activating it than when you're having it activated on you for sure. Um, I played three of this, but I gave one back. I borrowed one. Um, this card was really good in the mirror. I think it's, like, the only card that's good against all three boards. Um, whereas, like, the other cards are, like, you know, weaker to one version or the other. This one's kind of good for kind of independent of what they do. Um, so, yeah, I played three of it. Uh, then I played one Change of Heart. Um, the coolest thing I did with Change of Heart was I beat a gimmick puppet against Branded with this. Um, I was sitting there, I was thinking about it, and I was like, he's gonna give me gimmick puppet, and then if I change a heart, I can take it and tribute for Fenrir. Um, and then, yeah, that was exactly what happened, and I won the game. Then I played a Harpies, I played two Cosmic, and I played two Lightning Storm. Um, this card was good. I liked this card a lot. Um, and then I played three evenly. I did not like evenly. Like, I don't, I didn't side in the mirror. Um, I don't think it's great in the mirror. Well, simultaneously, it can be good against you for sure. It's just like, it's not the way I really want to play the mirror. So I didn't want to like overside a bunch of cards. So I was mostly just siding like these. Um, the three Karkers and the Change of Heart, and then this was primarily for Labyrinth, but I didn't play that either. Um, so I have not really liked this card ever since I've been siding it, but I've kind of like regrettably sided it for a few events now. Um, I still kind of feel that way, I, so it may make it back into my side deck, but I, I don't like Evenly very much. Um, but yeah, that is the whole deck, and thanks. Yeah, anything else you want to say? Um, shout out to RMC. Uh, yeah, nothing. It was a great event. Uh, looking forward to Philly. All right, awesome.